physics class formula list chapter electricity three columns physical term formula and the si unit electric charge represented with capital letter q q is equal to n into e q equals i into t q capital q is the electric charge e represents the electrons n represents the number of electrons so the number of electrons flowing through the circuit constitutes the electric charge capital letter q electric charge is equal to i into t the charge flowing through the conductor is equal to the current flowing through it in a given duration of time the si unit of electric charge is coulomb represented with capital letter c the next physical term is the potential difference represented with capital letter v v is equal to w by q we get this formula we derive this from the formula work done is equal to v into q where v is the potential difference and q is the electric charge we can also write that energy is equal to v into q we consider work done and energy as same since they have the same unit work done and energy have joule as their unit coming back here to the potential difference is equal to work done by charge the si unit of potential difference is volt represented with capital letter v resistance in a conductor represented with capital letter r r is equal to v by i we get this formula from the ohm's law which states that v is equal to i into r where v is the potential difference and i is the current flowing through the conductor the si unit of resistance is ohm this is the symbol for ohm resistivity the symbol is called rho we know the formula for resistance that is resistance is equal to rho into l by a since we need only the resistivity we take l by a to the lhs as a result we take its reciprocal rho is equal to r into a by l where r is the resistance of the conductor a is the area of cross section and l is length of the conductor the si unit of resistivity is ohm meter in our previous video you can watch a detailed explanation how resistance area of cross section and length of the conductor are proportional and how they affect the current and the resistance let me know in the comment section if you need a detailed explanation how to remember the si unit with the help of the formula we can actually remember the si units with the help of formulas and it is very easy to derive let me know in the comment section for the detailed explanation heat produced in a conductor represented with capital letter h h is equal to i square into r into t h is equal to v into i into t in the first formula h is equal to i square into r into t i is the current flowing through the conductor r is the resistance of the conductor t is the time duration during which the current is going to flow through that since heat is also a form of energy the si unit for heat is joules represented with capital letter j h is equal to i square rt i square can be written as i into i rt will be written as it is i r is equal to v from the ohm's law we know that v is equal to i into r so in place of i r we write it as v now multiply all the parameters we get h is equal to v into i into t this is how we derive this formula from original formula h is equal to i square r into t hence there are two formulas for the heat produced in a conductor 
h is equal to i square rt and h is equal to v into i into t. The SI unit of heat is joules represented with capital letter J. Electric power P is equal to V into I. P is equal to I square R. P is equal to V square divided by R. The SI unit of electric power is Watt represented with capital letter W. V is the voltage, I is the current and R is the resistance of the conductor. Here comes the important formula. Effective resistance in combination of resistors. There are two combination of resistors. One is series and the other one is parallel. In series combination, the effective resistance is obtained by adding all the resistors. R1 plus R2 plus R3. The effective resistance in parallel circuit is obtained by taking the reciprocal of individual resistances. That is, the effective resistance in parallel circuit is obtained by taking the reciprocal of individual resistances. That is, 1 by Rp is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. And the SI unit is O. You can take the screenshot of the image which will be displayed at the end of the video and use it for your reference.